Hey, this is Tina Monk, the author of the Soap Making Handbook Volume 1 and the creator of the eCourse Masterclass Advanced Soap Formulations. They are available at my website, naturalsudsandmore.com. And you can also join my Patreon community. I have a separate Facebook group just for my patrons that have uh, pledged to give $5 a month. So if you'd like to check that out, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Tina Monk. And I would really appreciate your support there. Um, I'm doing a series of videos just for the beginner soap maker. And in this video, we are just going to go over what is soda ash. Now, you can see here on the top bar that it doesn't have any white powdery stuff on it. And then th these two down here do. So you'll probably come across this in your cold process journey. So I wanted to go over this for you. So what exactly is soda ash? Okay, we use sodium hydroxide when we make bar soap and according to Kevin Dunn, the author of the scientific soap making book, the ash is sodium carbonate that occurs when the sodium hydroxide meets the carbon dioxide in the air. Uh, cooler temperatures tend to bring out more soda ash. Okay, and you will not get soda ash if you do hot process. Uh, but soda ash is harmless, um, but sometimes it can affect the look of your soap, and sometimes the ash can be deep and cause the soap to be brittle, so just expect that that could happen. Uh, some soapers uh, embrace the ash. They don't try to avoid it, the, you know, and it can add to the look of your soap. Sometimes it can look really cool, but if you want to try to avoid it, I do show in the trace video uh, in this series, what I do, I spray, after I mold the soap, I spray it with 91% rubbing alcohol, and then I wrap the soap in uh, saran wrap. Okay, and that helps um, keep the soda ash out. But even if you do everything you think you can do to prevent soda ash, it can still happen. So if it does still happen, you can um, do some things to get rid of it. Some people like to steam their soaps. If it's a really light ash, you can um, uh, just rinse it off and it'll be okay. And another thing that you can do is just take your bars that are covered with ash, spray with water, and then leave it sit. And then come back and spray with 91% uh, rubbing alcohol and leave it sit and the ash will be gone. Okay, so there's different things you can do to get rid of it. Um, but it's not a huge issue. I mean, if you sell them with ash, uh, the person that uses it, it's going to rinse off on the first use. So it's not anything to be overly concerned about. But if you don't like the look of it, you can do um, several things to keep it from happening or get rid of it. Okay. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Uh, you can leave comments below the video. Or you can ask in the group as well. So I hope that explains what soda ash is for you. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.